All right, okay, this time I'm doing something different. It's a treat for myself as well as the viewers. And I am making a root beer float. Got my glass. I just put it into the freezer for a while just to cool it up. Got my ready chilled NW root beer. And I got my ice cream uh, because it's very warm in this country as well as the pissing rain I have to do this quickly because I don't want to get it all warm so I'm gonna get right into it Northern Ireland it's very difficult to get some root beer so I had to order this on Amazon 24 pack it was worth it so I'm gonna get right into it just need ice cream your root beer a big glass I got my ice cream scoop and my straw, so let's get into it. So you just need about a good two big scoops of ice cream. This ice cream is already gone anyway, so I'm just going to scoop out the rest. And this looks amazing. There was some fancy thing I saw on YouTube, and it was like an official uh, branded video of I think like there's some other root beer brand and it showed you to add snaps root beer syrup and like come on don't be too so fancy no one has access to buying such fancy stuff so here I am going to pour it in and that will just mix in nicely Very full meat. I'll just maybe I'll just have the tile underneath this in case it pours over. But that's pretty much the right, there's the rest of the ice cream. Looks like a dirty pint. Looks like some sort of like really bad milkshake or something, but it's quite foamy on the top. I want to make that head by pouring it up. Right. Just want to get a shot of this for the thumbnail. <laughs> Cheers! Oh, it's delicious. Absolutely delicious. Now, it's only probably just about two good scoops of ice cream. I think it'll be nicer if there's a bit more. But that's my own root beer float. Quite easy. Cheers.